What is going on everybody? Switchblade Gaming and I'm going to be showing all y'all how to install and set up your Game Capture HD in 2020 to record PS2 games. So basically all you're going to need is this uh, Game Capture HD system. I bought this one used on eBay for about a hundred bucks including shipping. So we're going to be using this one for the Mac. So right there you can see the Mac build. And this one works perfectly for the Mac. All the details you need you can download from their site directly. If not, I'll have a link in the description below. So let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have all the components you need to get set up. So first thing is going to be uh, the Game Capture card itself, so the Game Capture HD box. So make sure you have that. And next, which is the most important part, is the wires. Alright, so first, uh, make sure you got your HDMI cables. We'll put those right here. Then you're going to want to make sure you have the USB adapter. So basically what you would use to connect um, the capture card to your computer. So there's uh, that. And then the most important one is the PS3 wire. Okay, so this is a wire that's basically going to have the connection you need um, for input on the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. So that's basically this piece that you see right here at the end. Um, this connects directly to where the AV input goes and then the other end connects to the capture card. Now this is an alternative in case you don't have that and you want to use the AV cables you can do that but we don't need that. So we'll put this right here for now and let's connect everything together. So first thing you're going to want to do is connect the PlayStation 3 cable to the input on the box. So that will basically go like this. Simple plug-in. Alright. And then the other end will go directly to the PlayStation. Next thing you want to grab is the, actually I'll set that aside for now. Next thing you want to get is the HDMI cable and plug that into the HDMI out input, which is on the opposite side of the PS3 cable. So plug that in. The other end, as you know, will go directly to your television set. So make sure you have HDMI input. Okay, so the HDMI out is all plugged in. Right next to it, you're going to want to plug in the USB adapter. So there's a little slot right here, right on the side. That's where you're going to want to plug this in. And boom. Once plugged in, you all you have to do is plug the other end into your computer. Once everything's connected, you're basically going to want to have everything running to your TV. So here's my HDMI cable. Directly to my TV. Next, you're going to want to have your PS3 cable plugged in and ready. And that basically goes right here on the back uh, where your AV cable is supposed to go. So take that out and then just swap this thing right in there. And that's all you need to connect that to the computer. Lastly, you're just going to connect the USB end to your laptop, and bam, that should set you up. Next, you're going to want to open the Game Capture app, which is listed under the Elgato website. If not, I'll leave it in the description below. Once you're logged in and connected, you should already have an input. If not, 
you're going to want to do a few things. So first click on settings. Okay. And you're going to want to check where everything is downloaded to. I don't know where this is going. So I'm going to change it. And I'll leave it to my desktop. Perfect. So now anything I film is going to go directly to my desktop. All right. Everything else checks out. All right. So once that's done, you can go ahead and change the title and description, okay, of your video by using the bottom right corner. That's going to give you all of your details. All right. My master volume is right here. Edit. Okay, we're going to open preferences one more time, make sure everything's good. All right, so now, to make sure everything's good on your Elgato, you're going to want to go to the top and make sure your first folder is on an Elgato output. Okay, next, you're going to want to make sure your settings and resolution are at least at 720 or standard. Anything higher, unless you have a good computer, is going to crash the system. Um, as well as avoiding the 60 FPS that will really slow down your system. And then you do want to have um, in between best and better um, for your options. Right where it says input, you want to make sure it says component. All right, where it says input device, you're going to have a few options, HDMI, um, PlayStation 3, um, some other things. You're going to want to make sure it's other. So if you go back right there, you could see there's a other. You'll choose that, and boom, we should be up and running. Once you've confirmed all the settings are good to go on the capture card, you should be up and running immediately. And as you can see on my screen, everything is loading directly from my TV to the computer. So everything is in real time. Um, I could play while still using my television. Um, and everything's being recorded onto the computer. So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. If not, you can always send me a direct message. Um, if you have any questions on how to use uh, this capture card for old school systems, um, I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos uh, filming what I do play using this capture card. So if you want to see how it does look um, while being used, uh, stick around and check out some of the other videos.